After the layout estimating step, move to Worksheet Ribbon to review estimate data. Click on Import Estimation icon to bring in estimating data into the worksheet. The icon next to it, Estimating Tip icon, is a flag. When it is on, it indicates there are more recent data to be brought in. Otherwise, if the flag is off, it indicates that the current worksheet data is up to date. When the room size or product assignments have been changed, or they have been re-estimated, estimating tip status will be turned on. Estimating data are presented by one of four grouping types, by material, by room, by material by trade, by material break by room, by material tab, a full list of project item with usage quantities, waste ratio, net covered area, perimeters, etc. By the room tab, a full list of floor areas, rooms under its layer, then items assigned under each room, their usages averaged to that room. By material by trade tab, a full list of trades, under each trade, project items are listed. By material break by room tab, a full list of project items, each item is broken down by rooms with this item assigned. Worksheet tab columns are configurable. Click on Settings icons on the pop-up window. Find all the data columns of interest. Check on the boxes to display or hide that column from the worksheet. Also, to adjust column order, drag and drop column header to relocate it. The program remembers a sequence even when the program restarts. Please note also, this product icon under Worksheet Ribbon prints exactly the column displayed in the Worksheet Table.